I have a new item to show you today. These are squeeze bottles. Two different sizes that I got. I got the 16 ounce and the 8 ounce. Let's take a look at this one first. This one's empty. This is the 16 ounce and let's do a close-up of the cap. The cap, as you see, it has a really nice fine uh, tip. What I and why I picked these is because the cap is uh, the tip of the cap that closes it is is part of the cap so that you cannot lose it uh, unlike some of the ones that snap on and snap off this you just twist it to, uh, to open it and then you twist it to close it so that the stuff doesn't spill out um, let's take a look at here now it's not a really large opening uh, which is why this is going to be better for really runny, thin types of um, liquids that you put inside. You don't want to be putting something that's chunky. It would be too hard to get it in. It would be too hard to try and clean it. Uh, but I also wanted something that would not be leaking, that had the built-in cap, and had the very fine tip. So I'd have just a fine amount to come out. So the main purpose I got for the large ones is vinegar. Um, vinegar is perfect for these because it's like, like water. <laughs> so uh, it's easy to fill up, easy for it to come out. Um, I had a, a problem with all these different vinegar bottles that were kind of oversized and taking up a lot of space. Uh, in my refrigerator and on my cabinet so um, and it, this is easier for me to be able to see all of my vinegars um, different recipes I got to do different vinegars say for here I did put labels on them so this is the balsamic vinegar I put like this label but I also put this one I like this one because from a distance it's really easy to see but in case this rubs off I wanted to make sure that I would still have a label on it so I could see it. Um, so I have balsamic, I use one for red, I have a sherry vinegar, I've got a rice vinegar, um, a white wine vinegar, the malt vinegar, I have apple cider. Uh, the last is distilled, which don't use it in a whole bunch of recipes, but I wanted to keep that separate from the bottle that I have under the sink, which I use for cleaning. Uh, so right now I have eight different ones. This pack comes in a pack of 12. Um, I have a couple more vinegars I'm going to get from the store. So I'll be using all of them except for this one. And I'll save this one for probably some oil. Oil would be perfect for this. Uh, let's take a look at how well it, um, it uh, holds up. So here, you see the top. There's no leaking, and it actually is truly airtight. So when you push on it, here, I'll show you this one. If This is when it's kind of open, and then you do that, there's nothing coming through. So if you want something that's truly airtight, these are absolutely airtight and leak-proof. There's not too many bottles that can be leak proof. And if you want the smaller ones, and the smaller ones are good if you want to use it at the table, or better yet, uh, I would be using these when I want to take my lunch to go and I want to put my salad dressing separately and I want to be able to have it laying down uh, and, and not have it leak all over the inside of my little lunch bag. Um, and here I've got, actually this is agave. Agave is pretty liquidy, although at the same time it's also kind of gooey and sticky like, um, like syrup. Honey's a little thicker. I don't know if honey would work in here. At least 100% honey uh, might be too, too thick. But this works great for agave. Um, and uh, let's see how well it pours out. I'm going to, let's see, I don't want to waste any of my vinegars. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill this up with some water. And just get a little funnel. These things are easy to fill up with. 
with whatever liquid. So I got some water here. Okay. And then you just cap it off and make sure that it's closed. See, you can shake it, nothing's coming out. Um, there's no air releasing from here, so it's completely airtight. And then when you want to use it, you have it coming out like this. See that? And if you have something that's a little thicker, it might come out a little thicker. See how nice that is? That's um, really nice. So, yeah. Okay. And you can do it like that. I'll pour a little bit of the agave in here. Agave is a little bit thicker, obviously, than the vinegar. And get a little bit of agave in here. And the agave comes out. See how nice? And it's nice, fine little stream. So you want to just drizzle that and you want to plate something. See how nice that is for using for plating your food or if you just don't like. I don't want a glob of it on my food. Um, let's try the balsamic. This is, I am so thrilled I have these. These things are just great. And here's like the vinegar too. I don't necessarily want to be putting too much on it. And when you buy the bottles from the store, sometimes you'll have a little fine kind of thing at the top. And sometimes it comes out pouring out too much. So you're not going to over pour with these. Um, so that's pretty much it for this review. Um... I've had the 8 ounce ones for a couple of years, so I know that these hold up. And I've used vinegar in this one for a couple of years, and I've not had any problems with the vine having vinegars in these plastic bottles. So um, I definitely recommend these, because squeeze bottles, it's hard to find good ones. So um, that's it for my review. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.